Hello and welcome back to Carmson Farm. We are into May and uh, we got the crops germinated so we need to uh, get rid of the weeds in the in this lovely field of soybeans. I have already done field 10 so that was the corn field and uh, yeah so this is the last field job we should need to do before harvest so money's gone up a um, couple of reasons for that um, been selling milk so all the animals are fed and uh, topped up ready for maize plus to uh, be added in later on so let's just take a look at our animals so everybody is all topped up and maxed out on feed apart from the horses because they're going to go so once we have done this uh, herbicide spraying I'm going to be uh, just going around topping everybody up make sure they're all maxed out and then going to go out the game and going to load in Maze Plus. I am incredibly anxious, actually. I don't know why. Um, it's a game. But, yeah, I just want it to work. I want it to be good fun. I want it to be a bit of a challenge, which it's definitely going to be. Um, but, yeah, there's a few things we need to do. Um, we need to demolish the brewery. And then once we add in Maze Plus and the sugar mill with byproducts by just add adam we can build that we're going to need to put in uh, molasses tanks we're going to need to put in probably some of the doika um buy points so we can buy um or some of the silos so we can buy mineral feed so there's a lot to do i also want to um make sure that the mix um, that I want to use is is going to work so yeah it's very much an episode of two halves for me um, you will yeah you'll it'll be a matter of seconds you um, but yeah so there's a fair bit to do I'll um, I'll show the the building of the tanks and and putting in the uh, sugar mill um, but the other stuff I'm going to need to really really concentrate for so I'll do that off screen so the other thing i've done is i've started to sell a bit of the equipment um the auger wagon has gone that had the lime in it um i've got rid of the uh soil sampler because we don't really need to soil sample any other fields and to be fair we were buying the samples anyway uh, got rid of the odd trailer here and there that we didn't need. I uh, got rid of the mulchers. I got rid of the smaller um, shallow cultivator that we got. Um, so yeah, a few little bits have gone. Um, just because we don't need them anymore. And yeah, no point cluttering the save up any more than it already is. So yeah, I'm going to get this finished. And then um, we'll head up and we'll demolish the brewery. Um, the uh, what was I going to say? Sorry, the uh, mini ba mini biogas plant uh, is set to selling at the moment, so we can probably adjust that when that knocks over the hour, which it should have done by now. So let's just take a quick look and let's have a look. Yeah, so that's gone brilliant that can now carry on and uh process all the slurry and the manure that we've got in there i've topped up the dairies so yeah we're in a good position i think there's um still a bit to do but uh yeah we'll crack on and get it done so up at the uh production area and in the construction menu we can say thank you very much to the beer production it was uh, good fun and uh, yeah, pretty cool to do. Um, something a bit different. So let's just 
fix this. There we go. Super. Okay, so bye bye uh, brewery. Like I said before, we'll leave the cell point. Um, there's no real issue with that. Um, let's have a look at how the cows are doing. They seem okay on everything at the minute. I've been shipping the slurry out. The manure was 47,000 litres, so yeah, that's fine as well. Right. I will see you very shortly, and uh, we'll have uh, Maze Plus enabled. Right then. So, Maze Plus is enabled. <laughs> um took me a little bit longer than I thought and I need to uh, thank Disturbed for his uh, patience and help um, so let's just take a quick look at what we have done so these bunkers let's bring up the uh, F1 menu are now maize silage because if you remember we chopped the corn in 2022 so I've set them to May silage. What else? So any bales that we've got are now grass silage. So they've all been converted. The mixes that we're in, we're in the mixer wagons, they just convert and they stay as TMR on the standard mix. Money has gone up a little bit. Um, so what I've done is I'll show you. I've zeroed the milk in each uh, of the cow pens so that's the new one and that's the old one food is as before although now you'll see we've got base food roughage moist food and power food for the cows chickens you'll see have got their own individual sliders now same for the horses same for the sheep and same for the little piggies so at some point we'll need to maybe do something with them once they start eating through it but luckily everybody is okay for now so what else do we need to do now so we need to place the sugar milk with byproducts so if we go into the actually first save always best and then into construction and find the one that we want now here we go so there's a cheaty version and there is a standard version now from memory from what Adam said it is only the capacities that are the difference so we want to be we might need to get rid of the fence actually let's have a look so that's where the stuff's going to spawn so yeah i think we're going to place it a roughly Hmm, I'm coming. Yeah, I think what I'll do is come out of there. We're going to demolish the fences. We'll leave the lights for now. Get rid of that. And we'll get rid of these as well. Just to give ourselves a bit of space. There we go. No, just the fence, please. Thank you. Take a couple more out there. Right. Let's now go back into the productions and click on this one. So, if we just zoom out a little touch, we should be able to put in the products there and get them out on to the side. So, if we place it there what are, you, what are you overlapping with street lamps get rid of it 
Thank you for the confirmation that it has been sold. Lovely. Back to this one and try again. So if we leave enough space on the other side, we might be able to get around and do a bit of a loop. I reckon there. Lovely. Okie dokie. So drop off zone this side. Spawn zone in the hatched area there. Fantastic. Right. Next job is to... So, in fact, let's talk about the mixes. If we go into... Just trying to think of the best way to show this. Can't do it at the minute. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come to the mixes later on. Um, we'll come to placing the Doika silos later on and the molasses tanks. So, first job of today is to get field 20 and 22 cut and... Uh, We'll probably going to use the Crone Big M for that, so I'll see you in a second. So, just while the worker navigates themselves to the first waypoint, which I think they're going to start at. Yep, that's fine. Um, we've just dropped over the hour. Okay, so bearing in mind, milk was zeroed. <laughs> We've already got 4,000 litres of milk at the new cow barn and 5,000 at the old barn. The food was roughly the same, so 118 something thousand. <laughs> what have I done? So it's roughly, I reckon it's about 18,000 litres an hour. We're going to eat um yeah so actually it is good timing for me recording this today um just uh not long ago finished recording um a nebraska green valley nebraska multiplayer with disturbed and we were chatting about this um hence why today is going to be a silage making session because from the numbers we were talking at the moment we have not got enough <laughs> um, but yeah still really looking forward to it I was nervous about making the conversion on the map and changing the things just because the save is so far advanced now um, I was worried that it was going to mess up but so far Fingers crossed, we're doing all right. Um, so, we need a baler and a wrapper, and uh, we can start getting some of these uh, lovely silage bales made to feed our 500 cows. Right then, so we've got the fast track with the Heston baler on the back. I have had to lease a uh, bale wrapper. There is a specific one for Maze Plus, um, but luckily it also does Heston Bales, so jobs are good and there. Um, so that's on the fence, parked up not too far away from the field. Um, not overly sure where at this point in time we're going to store these bales, um, but uh, we'll sort something. So it looks as though the mower is coping better than uh, the combine on this uh, end of the field, so that's good. The uh, baler's filling up reasonably quickly as well. In fact, let's just have a quick look, make sure the tractor's stopped at the uh, precision farming menu and just want to check the yield map. I didn't reset it, did I? Uh, not too bad. So we're at at least 90%. So, yeah, not too shabby at all. Cool. Okay, right. Um, so, I think um, what we're going to do regarding feeding is um, 
<laughs> one panic <laughs> very joking um, is uh, we'll empty the mixer wagons that we've got well they'll be empty by the time uh, the next hour ticks over um, then what we'll do is we'll get into doing a a mix um, the mixes are going to be ever so slightly different um, not by much I have uh, tweaked them slightly um, so for the new car barn we're going to be using predominantly maize silage and hay um, with some molasses and also some uh, either potatoes or sugar beet one of the two and then for the old cow barn probably going to start to using the similar sort of mix but with grass silage um, and hay maybe a bit of straw to pad it out um, but yeah and then either potato sugar beet and some mineral feed maybe so yeah they're going to be slightly different um, between the two um, until we start to work our way through the ingredients that we've got stored and uh, need to uh, pardon the pun mix it up a little bit but um, yeah so the only real problem I had with um, swapping things over was the bunker at the old cow barn because that was open um, it didn't want to convert uh, what was there so landscaped it out um, refilled it with um, conditioned grass which is what we're baling now and um, then compacted it um, covered it over and then went into the XML and tweaked the fermenting time so yeah that was the only mild panic um, but yeah so copied the numbers so we've got about the same that was in there so yeah all good so let's finish this headland off and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at how many bales we've actually made so far so there's the stats so we've got 11 so far which is not too shabby I think um, we'll do a bit more uh, probably get the headlands complete done and baled and then uh, yeah we'll catch up when we start to uh, pick some wrap bales up so you join me um, still on the headlands um, ran into a minor issue that um, I thought that all Hester balers would work with the wrapper for Mace Plus but it's just the 4D modding one so at least one of those um, but it clearly needs an update or something and which is fair enough it's, it's got to be made to work with uh, Mace Plus but uh, yeah their website's down and uh, I was getting a bit annoyed with uh, faffing around so we can now find the fence so this is what it was saying this bale is not supported so now if we can head to a recently dropped bale by the crone baler hopefully that will then wrap and uh, we should be all good the mowing is near enough finished which is rather helpful um, now the Heston bells that are grass yes get in get in right so the Heston bells that are grass are not wasted um, sheep can have them and I think that um, I'm just looking at my I've printed off the maize puss maize plus uh, manual so I think that if we give them conditioned grass and hay that should um, fill all the bars up for them so give it a go um, and yeah so that was a bit of a panic um, we can pick them up with the Heston auto stacker bale chaser heath chaser um, so that's not a problem either so what I might do is let the baler carry on doing a bit the mower is probably got two passes left to do um, 
I'll grab the super chaser. We'll get the field cleared of those bales. And then we should be able to set course plate running around wrapping the bales for us. And it'll probably do a better job than I'm doing at the minute. But yeah, that was sheer panic then. It's like, uh oh, what are we going to do? But luckily, um, with a little bit of communication with Disturbed, um, we're all good. So let's grab that out of the way of the worker in the crone. Cool. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to find a tractor, probably the voucher, um, get the super chaser, clear the headland up the Heston Bales, and then we'll catch up when we made a little bit more progress. So we are just down by the sheep with uh, a uh, full chaser wagon full of uh, conditioned grass. So things are working a lot better now in the... Uh, Bill 20 and 22 so yeah we see fast tracks going along there we've got the fence here and this is the crone big m but what i want to look at is the sheep so they've got the roughage so now if we can uh, carefully grab some conditioned grass and go and place it by the feed trough there we go so now that's gone up to 46,000 and you'll see yes get in so it's taken a little bit and put it into each of the different categories so this is kind of similar to uh, how Feeding the grass, feeding the grass, feeding the cows, uh, grass conditioned worked on Attingham. But obviously, it's not so cheaty as we've had to put the effort in and do the bales. So that's good. We know that that works. So we can now go back to the voucher. I will go and pick up the four, five, six of the bales um, and just get them off the field so it doesn't confuse the fence. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a minute. So while the Fent continues to very slowly wrap the bales, um, we are going to take a look just quickly at the cows. Um, so as you'll see, we've dropped over um, into 10 o'clock now, just past 10 o'clock. So they've had eight, nine. So this is into the third hour of eating. <laughs> Oh dear, what have we done? So that's the new cow barn. And then the old one is even worse. So we'll uh, feed the cows. You'll see I've put in the molasses tank from Just Add Adam and the Doika uh, silo. We're going to put mineral feed into that and molasses into the other one now i think that that's the baler hopefully that has uh, finished there so twenty thousand liters of molasses 13 grand okay and then let's put in here need to make sure i get the right one it's mineral feed twenty thousand liters 22 grand okay super so that can uh, plod away fill it feeding the cows it won't fill the trough we will jump to this one and top these cows up here probably not going to get into doing a mix today i don't think um episode 94 which this is was always going to be setting up and uh yeah the silage session so that can carry on feeding those. Brilliant. Okay. So now um, what we need to do is go and get into the JCB and finish off the baling. Now that is not the uh, course play course missing it. That is the uh, ineptitude of the, per of the controller to uh, select the right baler to be using. So we'll get the baling done now we are set at 
the old cow barn there is some things we need to put in to uh, the area surrounding the new cow barn so what I think we're going to do is we're going to put in a bunker to store um, potatoes we are then going to grab a truckload of sugar beet and start to fill up the uh, sugar factory because then that will generate us molasses and I think it's beet pulp as well so we need to get that started um, because that then saves us having to pay £13,000 every year every time we need some molasses so I'm going to finish the baling and I will see you once we have grabbed the truck with the uh, bulk trailer so I've set a worker back on doing the bale wrapping because that is such a tedious job um, I think we've got something like let's have a quick look 137 to wrap well actually no it's a bit less than that so 100, let's say 120 to wrap um, don't, get, don't get me wrong I'm not moaning we're going to need it but it's taking a while um, so what I have done is I have leased a bulk trailer and that is on the front of our new Scania um, I've done a bit of a tweak to the auto drive course around by the sugar mill because clearly the one that was there before going to the beer delivery is no longer going to work so we've got 79,000 litres of sugar beet that is going to be taken up there and hopefully delivered so we can just that that plod along I'm not sure whether it's just taking its time because it's going to the junction or whether it's the weight <laughs> not sure um, so we can now find the there we go the class we can just check we're not going to pick up any unwrapped bales um, hopefully we'll get where on earth is that fence going really come on sort yourself out thank you um, so these are all going to go in the Nancy Boy sheds um, we will cram them in um, because uh, like I say we're going to need to um, the other place we could put some is down at the old cow barn I think um, that's probably ne necessary as well to uh, give ourselves a bit of a supply down there now the only thing with these is how are you supposed to stack two lots we'll probably have to just do a partial load maybe um so what i think we'll do is thinking on the go these can go to the old cow barn i'll run them down there now we've got one more heston to collect that i found in the corner of the field um so then that can go to the sheeps um but yeah it, yeah it was always going to be a ridiculous challenge um so yeah i kind of prepared myself for it um it's gonna be fun still i still think it's gonna be a laugh um luckily no harm will come to the animals if slash maybe when um they've run out of food but yeah it's gonna be good so i'll go and drop these off and uh, we'll come back and see how the Fent is doing with the wrapping. Well, I had to take over. Um, there is still a fair amount to do, but we just run over here. We've got the class coming back, and hopefully, we've got the Scania making its way round into the delivery point. Now, it shouldn't stop for the fence. There we go. Hopefully this is going to work. Because it will make our lives a lot easier. Um, a lot of this silly 500 cows malarkey is um, 
going to be made possible by auto drive um, and you know so there we go that's the axiom back so yeah milk pickup slurry pickup manure pickup all of it um, that is going to majority of that's going to be automated so yeah we're going to be relying very heavily on auto drive so let's just have a look at there we go okay so we can now activate the sugar mill with byproducts we'll leave the cheaty bit out um and then that's going to run away look so already we've got the sugar producing we've got molasses and we've got beet pulp fantastic so that's uh yeah one less thing to buy from now on so i think um let's just have a quick look at what we've got in storage okay so i think maybe another two loads possibly three of the sugar beet um, and then what we can do is if we come over here excuse me cows I need to have a look where the auto drive course runs but and possibly could put it here is to add in a bunker that will take potatoes or sugar beet probably potatoes I think um, so then that can be used to feed the cows up here as well so what we might need to do is come in here with the auto load trailer move those bales over to this side possibly or just try and fill up down here first but yeah so another hour has passed let's just have a check at the milk not too worried about the feed at the minute Twenty-two thousand liters in that barn and 16,000 litres in that one so builds up rather quick doesn't it slurry as well let's check the slurry oh no they're sheep they don't make slurry so yeah cracking right let's um push on now well I need to push on now get the bales wrapped get that field cleared and then uh, we'll end up calling it a day for today I reckon so a, uh, a top tip if you are um, worried about where your auto drive course goes if you have it turned on you can then see the lines when you go to the production menu I did not know that that was a thing um, so potato silo um, it can go next to the manure one it's far enough away the smell won't linger on the spuds it's out the way of the course so another 20 grand in there We'll uh, do a tiny bit of painting just to uh, tidy it all. There we go. In fact, we'll go the other way. No, we won't. Where is it? There it is. And we'll bring that out around there, I think. So it does look like we've had a, a concrete base put down. There we go. That'll do, that'll do very nicely indeed. So, the vent is making progress. We should now be on to... Yeah, I bet the lorry's got stuck. Um, so... I'm happy with that now. We can have potatoes in there. We're going to have our silage, our hay, straw, etc. in there. Um, so what we can do is we'll park this up out of the way. We can turn off the markers. Get this backed up just to the side here. We will pull it right out of the way because then when the, uh, the worker comes through to grab the slurry not, this mix wagon is not going to be in the way so that's fine there 
So we'll attach up to here. And then we can get that on there. Now we can just hit that and it should fill up with slurry. There we go. Yep, slurry selected. So it's going to fill up with slurry and it'll drive to the mini BGA, unload and come back and repeat. So you can see I've switched the New Holland now to be shifting the manure to the mini BGA. So that is uh, well on with that. It's probably only a couple of loads there, I reckon. You will also see that we have been stacking the bales in the shed. Um, just been doing 21, I think it is. Um, in a stack and uh, yeah seems to be reasonably stable got to be careful pulling out not to uh, take them out they do jiggle a little bit but hopefully they'll just settle down nicely right there is two three four maybe five bales left to wrap which is good, that seems to have taken an absolute age. Um, but it has gone a long way to helping us sustain the uh, cows for a bit longer. So let's jump out of here and uh, jump in the fence and uh, finish off the wrapping, I think. Right there. Oh, wow. What a episode um you'll see the bales are all cleared um and now just thought about this is this going to have a bit of a hissy fit with the sides and the yep it is oh no not too bad okay um so what I'm going to do is uh, going to clear the clear the bales away, um, get them dealt with. Um, not sure where they will end up just yet. Um, might do another few grass fields off screen. Um, I think next time what we'll do is we'll focus on uh, feeding the animals. Um, so we'll go around, I was going to say we'll go around and touch every animal, but no, we will um, touch on the topic of feeding each animal um, and we will get that done. Um, I kind of get that this has been a bit bitty today. Um, it was always going to be the setting up episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. It's been a laugh and it's been an eye opener as to how much certainly the cows are going to eat but um yeah thank you very very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care <laughs>